on Twitter. I had my Twitter update set up for Reebok and Tiana. So I was just kind of like going back and forth to different apps and stuff, trying to make sure that I got my pair. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, you probably recognize from the background, it's going to be a sneaker video. Now, it's not going to be my traditional sneaker talk for the month. I still have that one coming. So, probably like after Black Friday and after certain, after certain releases and stuff, we will do another sneaker talk before November ends. But today, I had an idea because I was cleaning out my closet this past weekend and I was like, okay... I have a lot of shoes in here and thought about them in a long time or I even forgot that I purchased them or I just hadn't figured out what type of outfit I wanted to wear with them so I said why not showcase them so this is kind of like a haul but I've, I haven't bought any of this stuff recently so but you can look you'll be able to tell by the shoes that they haven't been bought recently so um, I have a couple different brands here today I have a6 Reebok Nike, Adidas, brands. I also wanted this video to kind of be no Jordan brand shoes just because that's what I own majority of. And I did another video that had like all of my um, pickups from 2017. It was a back to school haul. So I didn't want to showcase any of those shoes even though a lot of those I have still have yet to wear or I just haven't thought about them or they're all the way like pushed in the back of my closet. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't feel like moving all these boxes just to grab a shoe. But I, I did say this year I was going to try to undies more shoes and wear more shoes. That hasn't really happened, honestly, and we're already close to the end of this year. But I'm going to do better. I will do better. So the first brand I'm going to start off with is Asics. Um, I have three pair of those, so we'll just get right into it. And this is how the box looks. Um, it's actually a gift from my brother. A couple of these shoes are gifts, so I will specify whether they were gifts or not. They're, that basically means that I don't know how much they were. Um, I have to tell you the box price though, but I don't know how much they paid for them or where they got them from. So these are the Cayano trainers, and this is a size 8 in women. This is how the shoe looks right here. And it's like a, it's coming up kind of pinkish on camera right now when I look at my little display right here but um it's really more of a mauve purple color kind of um these are completely dead stock has the tissue paper in it have never been worn or even tried them on i told you all in one of my videos that i don't try my shoes on before i get them just because i just know my sizing now um so i just don't feel the need to oh let me try my shoe on. it comes with the a6 tag here in gel right here and asics is a brand that i really like i just have yet to wear any of the asics that i own i know that's kind of crazy i think i got these for my birthday one year or christmas one year these are also dead stock and this is how they look it's just like a fun colorful pair my brother got me these and they have like neon in it and like blue pink and purple I just thought they were such a fun, cute shoe. I haven't worn these yet. I, what I really like about Aces is this right here. The little split tongue of the shoe. Like, I really like that look of the shoe. But I still have yet to wear these. So, um, this is kind of like a summertime, summer color shoe. So, maybe in the summertime, you will see me rocking these. But I definitely plan on wearing these as well. And it just has Asics gel on the back. And these are the gel like threes. the last pair of Asics we have here and these are actually a six and a half in men this is a pair I bought for myself and these are dead stock these are dead stock as well oh and FYI dead stock means that it hasn't been worn it hasn't basically touched the ground that's my definition of them um they are completely brand new fresh out the box like that's what I mean by dead stock these came out February 2016 I think or the end of January because sometimes they release like shoes in January before you know February comes in before Valentine's Day but this is how they look and I really just bought this pair it was like a splurge purchase because I was like I just want these shoes like I'm like I don't really need any more pink red shoes but I just decided to get them these are the gel light threes and I just love the shoe I think they were called a strawberry shortcake um shoe it looks on the inside and it came with these speckled like pink shoelaces I think it's picking up on camera 
So it has like these little dots and stuff in them. And also it came with this extra pair of laces. So it's like a cream color. Obviously I will probably wear these or I may do one shoestring a different color. But yeah, and this is how the bottom of it looks. I thought these were super cute and super girly and pink is my favorite color. On to Reeboks. Um, so these are shoes that I have worn, but I've either worn them once or I just really forgot about them. So size six U. These are how they look. It's like this lavender purple color. Um, it's a leather shoe and it has the gum bottom. I wore these like once or twice. So you, it's a it is a little bit of wear on the bottom, but not too much. This is how the shoe looks, and yes, it's still <laughs> it's still tied from when I took them off. On to the next, on, on to the next one. This is another pair of Reebok Classics. The next pair is a collab shoe, and it came with this card in the box. It's the Reebok Face Stockholm collaboration. It says the Reebok and Face Stockholm collaboration brings together two brands with roots in a vibrant decade of the 80s. So Face Stockholm is like a makeup company. Um, I didn't even know this before I bought the shoe. I mean, I knew before now. It's like some of the colors so they came out in this purple blue green and this peachy color here and pe the peach color is the one that I purchased this is how the shoe looks I actually really love the shoe so I plan on wearing these sometime soon because I have like a lot of peach kind of clothes but this is how the shoe looks and it's all leather and then like the Reebok sign here it has like this little croc leather leather I hope you can see you can kind of see it a little bit but that's how it looks and it's completely peach all over I love monochromatic shoes like this there's like peach everywhere I did wear these like once and on the inside it just has Reebok face Stockholm okay and last but certainly not least for Reeboks we have a pair of Iversons it's typically the men's box because I have a pair of Reeboks that I showed in my first haul. So also, these are the Reebok questions. Iversons, those are two names that are synonymous with this shoe model. But to me, I feel like the questions run a tad bit on the big side opposed to like the Reebok classics to me run true to size. So I really feel like I should have got a seven and a half in these, but whatever. This is a size eight and these are the Tiana Taylor questions. And Tiana Taylor, I was like, I have to get a shoe of hers. Now, I remember other pair came out, and I wanted them so bad. I was, like, in college, and I wasn't able to grab them. Like, I don't remember why I wasn't able to grab them. I just think they sold out so much quicker. Like, I think these sold out, but I don't know if the price point, the TRP people from them, because they did retail for $160, so that is a bit pricey for a pair of Reeboks, but I just had to have them. And like I was saying, I love shoes that are, like, pretty much all one color all over so this is how the shoe looks it is all red and I wore these one time I actually wore them um, when I went to this event to see Umar Johnson if anyone knows him so I actually wore these shoes I, I'll put a picture somewhere up here or in this video I just wore them I wore them on campus at U of M so I just walked around on campus all day and in the place that they held the gathering so I didn't get much wear of these and this that was my last time wearing them just because I do feel like this shoe is a little bulky on my foot but if I just wear like thick socks or like double my socks or something I'd be fine. It has the three on the back. It has this like croc to it but this is all suede. We're going on to Adidas. I'm shocked I don't have Adidas shirt on. So I'm trying to get them to sponsor me. I'm trying to get them to see my videos. <laughs> and these are in kids sizes as well. And when I show you the shoe, you may not think it's anything special. This is just how it looks. It's like a black, all black shoe. These shoes are highly comfortable. But I'm going to show you right now what sold me on the shoe hopefully this picks up on camera but what it basically has this shoe is all 3m over and what 3m means is basically this reflective material that a lot of shoes have on them now but i'm going to use my phone and i don't think it's going to pick up i'm going to show pictures of it but is it going no it's not really doing it 
bummer but I can see it like I can kind of see you like you can see it a little bit if I put the shoe like into the light that I have reflecting on me but the shoes are reflective over and that's what really sold me on the shoe I just thought it was the coolest thing so what I'll do is insert a picture right now okay next is probably one of my fave shoes in this video and these are the Kobe shoes and I don't know if I've ever said it but Kobe Bryant is like my favorite basketball player ever um next probably would be Allen Iverson and I like Steph Curry and like is a current player right now but I'm a Laker fan 11s so this is a 6 youth and a Kobe <laughs> okay I own like another pair of Kobe's I own several pair of Kobe shoes actually I remember at one point I was like I don't own that many Kobe shoes but yeah I own several pair of them now and this is how the shoe looks. So this is like this um, mint green. The box has green glow on it. But this is how it looks. This little colorful little tag hang. Well, off, coming off the tongue of the shoe. This little tag here. It has the mamba symbol on the inside of the shoe. And yeah, I think these shoes were dope. I have yet to wear these or try these on or anything. Um, honestly, I don't know when I will wear these. Or maybe I shouldn't wear them. Maybe I should try to get him to autograph them one day. On this side of the box, it does have his name, Kobe Bryant, on it. Along with Nike. We're coming down to the end of this video, FYI, guys. These are another pair of Kobe's. But these are kind of like, it's like an honorable mention, honestly. Because these are not one of the main Kobe models. This, uh, these are the Nike Kobe Mentality 2's. It's a 6 year in grade school. And you can see by all the little stickers here. I did get these from the Nike clearance store. And they retail for $85. Then they were marked down to $55. Then they were marked down to $39.97. But I remember getting these when they had an extra 20% on top of the price tag. So I probably paid like $20 some dollars for these. But I really bought these just for workout purposes. So I did work out in them once or twice. But this is how the shoe looks. And they look similar to the the last pair I just had, honestly. That's why I really bought them. And I just thought they were cool. They have like this Independence Day, 4th of July, Memorial Day colorway going on with this blue and red. And that's how they look. This has the this logo right there. And right here as well okay and my last shoe is another pair of Nikes these are actually men's shoes because they have like the little pull out thing here which I think is cool they do retail for $175 and y'all know I'm, I'm not paying it they were marked down to $89.95 a pair of shoes that I had been trying to grab for the longest i know y'all probably like she has a shoe story for every shoe i do like when they say like your shoes tell a story my shoes definitely tell a story i can each shoe i bought i have a story behind it i can tell you why i bought them when i bought them where i bought them maybe not the month but most of the time i can tell you pretty much everything about why i bought that shoe but this is how they look and this right here it kind of is supposed to resemble and have the feel of a um of a tennis ball i think so that's how they look and it has the Teleria on the back the air sign and stuff and it's neon and it has the zoom air right there this is the bottom of the shoe I have worn these like once or twice so happy to grab this shoe I have this shoe in my collection I just think they're so dope and stuff I'm the type of person I like for my shoes to fit um, pretty much very true to size because I don't like anything to crease or anything. But I don't have to worry about that with these shoes. That's how the box is. And I always wanted one of these boxes. But they only do these like for men's shoes. So I was happy to get, get these. And they just slide in and have this little opening right here. They just slide. Yeah, that kind of wraps up my shoes I forgot. Slight sneaker haul video. So this was like three, four, five, seven, eight. Three. So this is like 10 pair of shoes. Um, maybe one day I'll do my full shoe collection, but I doubt it just because 
I've been getting shoes and collecting shoes since I was in elementary school to middle school. So, yeah, that would be a quite long, extensive video. A lot of people underestimate us girls, but I have, I got my shoe game is better than a lot of guys that I know personally. But watch the complex sneaker shopping on YouTube and different things, but they are coming to TV, so I think that's going to be cool. I actually tweeted about it today, and they liked my tweet, so I thought that was kind of cool. But, um, yeah, so this is going to wrap up this video. I hope that you all like this. Let me know if you want to see more of my collection. Let me know if you own any of these shoes, or if you're into shoes, or anything like that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and see you in my next one.